Hello friends! Today we are painting our gnomes. We're going to be using our watercolors in class for the younger grades instead of the glaze so that we can take them home right away and it's a little easier process. It's going to give you a beautiful result. So friends, this is what we're going to do it. How we're going to do it. I suggest that you just load up your brush and start wiggle, 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 wiggle into your favorite paint for your hat with the watercolors on the table. These are special watercolors. There are FDA approved uh, special type of watercolor that is also good for makeup. Um, so it's uh, very covering watercolor. It's sort of like a face paint as well. So it has really, really good coverage. Very special. Look at those white spots already come out. You don't have to worry about them. They already look white on the red head. Let's put more light here. Maybe it's going to be a little better. So you can even go over that to make little highlight or low light like this we're gonna finish our gnome and then what we can do is we can also once we are done with painting them with watercolors we can glaze them with a glazing medium so they will be a little bit glossy that's an optional step but with kindergarten we're just gonna be in first grade second grade probably third grade, we're gonna just be using watercolors. Some third graders might be able to use glaze. And um, so, so, but these watercolors are really special. They have very high coverage. We have some that I give you in class. They had a lot of silver. If you remember the metallic paints. Now I'm adding a little bit of a metallic pink to it. You've got all kinds of beautiful colors on your table. It's going to look gorgeous. Oops. Look what happened. One of my... And if this happens, you can always put super glue at home and reattach whatever broke. That's That happens sometimes. So we're not going to worry about it. I'll put it away. And start painting my beard. I think I want my beard to be brown. So add a little bit of water and then swirl, swirl, swirl inside of your paint until you activate it. Don't start digging into it thinking it's going to work. It's not going to work. It's going to not really give you any coverage if you start digging into the watercolor. It looks more, more beautiful if you do it. If you put enough water and take your time activating by swirling slowly and softly. If you dig into it, you're just going to break the paint cake. I call it cake. Um, and then it's going to break into crumbles and it's not going to work. And also you're going to waste supplies. So be gentle, add enough water. And you can get into all the crevices with your preferred colors. Okay, I'm going to go into this yellow. Also have a natural color here. For my nose, it's like a light brown. And I'll add some yellow highlights. You see, if it's broken like this, it still works. It's just a little broken, but the paint works. Just go over a couple of times and you get that shade. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way around. Well, we give him blue pants. Let's give him blue pants. I'm gonna just show you. I'm swirling, 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 and I had some brown on the brush that I didn't wash out good, so that's why this blue paint got a little darker, but I don't mind. But if you want to keep your colors nice and 
uh, light and the same color that you see in the palette, always wash your brush really well. Another no-no is go from going from here and then putting that over here trying to no, we're not gonna make all these other light colors dirty. We're not gonna do that at all. Take the face paint, um, the paint palette away. We gotta learn how to wash our brush before each different color. So if I wanna go to another color, if I wanna go to the this one, I gotta brush wash my brush, especially if it's a lighter color and I would make a mess on the palette. You don't wanna make the palette dirty. Okay for the next class because I'm not going to have time to go and paint, uh, wash all the light colors after you in between classes when there's two minutes between each class. I will not have time. Now I went from ye yellow directly to pink and that doesn't matter because I'm not going to make the pink dirty uh, because yellow is lighter color. So, but if you're going to go from dark to light, that does matter because you're going to make the cake all dirty. So don't do that. I give him kind of blue um, apron. I'm just gonna finish my beard here on the side and then I'm gonna go to blue. Now that I have brown, I'm gonna wash my brush to show you the correct way to not make this blue dark. Okay, so. I washed my brush and now my blue is nice and clear. Sometimes some kindergarten students, they go into black and then go into yellow and then everything will look like mud. They'll go into each color and start putting dark paints into all the light colors and everything looks like a mud. That's not gonna make our art better. It's gonna make it look worse. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. Then we can add some uh, glassy glaze, next glass when we're done painting. But right now you can be calling this done and I'll see you in our next video. Now is your turn.